So, Maggie Paschal is now going to explain about EFT, or Emotional Freedom Technique. And the reason I'm asking her is because EFT is used on our astrology courses and indeed our runes courses as a means of healing and transformation. So very briefly, how does that work? Well, say the astrology predicts that a person will be in a difficult period or time scale. It's no good simply telling the person that they will be experiencing the transit of Saturn through the 8th house from Moon, which is very difficult. Unless you also offer the person some means of healing within that perception, some means of transformation and empowerment to deal with what they'll experience. And also in the runes course, for example, if we're dealing with the first rune, Feu, the rune of value, working with this rune can often throw up quite difficult start positions around value. And EFT can help us heal, transform and grow. So in this video, I'm just going to ask Maggie to say briefly and simply, what is EFT and what does she use it for? Hi, so uh, EFT stands for Emotional Freedom Technique and it's essentially a way of gently tapping on acupressure points to rele release stress with relation to whatever it is we might feel uncomfortable about. Um, so I'll, I'll give you a, a very simple example. Uh, I'll take the idea of a, a headache just because it's a very simple example. Um, so we would first of all, um, you'd first tune into yourself and tune into um, how strong that headache was on a scale of 0 to 10, with 10 being at the top end and 0 being nothing. And then you, having, having got your score, you then make a statement out of it. So you could very simply say, even though I have this head headache, I deeply and completely accept myself while you tap on these points. So I'll go through the sequence with you. And the sequence I use is the shortcut sequence, which is very simple, um, very easy to learn and very versatile. So even though I have this headache, tapping on the side of the hand here, the karate chop point, I deeply and completely accept myself. Even though I have this this headache I deeply and completely accept myself even though I have this headache I deeply and completely accept myself and then we take a, sh a phrase out of that statement um, and tap on these remaining points this headache top of the head the uh, end of the eyebrow where it meets the bridge of your nose so using a couple of fingers this headache following the eyebrow round to the side of the eye, this headache, and then following the, the bone round to just under the eye, this headache, upper lip, this headache, the groove in the chin, this headache, the collarbone point, which is if you find one of the two uh, ends of your collarbone and go diagonally underneath them into the groove there so it's about an inch down from the middle of your breastbone an inch out this headache you can tap on one side or both sides this headache and then under the arm three inches down from the armpit with women it's normally where they can feel their bra strap so this headache so that's one round of EFT. Uh, the more specific you get, the better it is. So for example, taking the idea of a headache, um, we would, we might, it might be better to focus, um, if that didn't work, well, first of all, we would we'd go back to our original statement and say, um, 
okay it was a six what is it now uh, if it's less than good uh, sometimes it can even go higher as it makes us more aware of what's going on um, but a lot of the time we need to be more specific so in the t in the case of the headache we might have to say what the headache feels like I've got a headache um, over the um, over my eyes um, and it's when I think of work so that's that's much more specific than just saying this headache so then we might go even though I've got this work headache above my eyes even though I've got this work headache above my eyes even though I've got this work headache above my eyes um, I, I, I deep and completely love and accept myself even though I've got this work headache above my eyes I love and accept myself even though I have this work headache above my eyes I love and accept myself and then tapping around those points again this work headache above my eyes 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 and then we can measure it again and obviously what we're, we're aiming for is for it to come down to zero um, and we may have to do a bit more probing a bit more um, tuning into um, when it started if um, and, and what the meaning of that is it might be in certain work situations you don't feel good enough you might have to um, um, link it back to a time earlier on when you had those same feelings so sometimes it can be really simple um, and a lot of times we have to do a little bit more probing um, what I would say is it's the tapping that does the work so the words are there simply to keep you focused um, and simply to provide um, a focus for, for, for what we're, we're aiming the tapping at but it's the tapping itself that does does the shifting of our energy and when we're doing that tapping we're not um, saying we're not trying to force a situation we're not trying to force ourselves to feel different we are actually doing the opposite we're generally accepting actually the way I feel is the way I feel um, so having having taken a stressful situation and brought it down to zero or very close to zero we can then sometimes um, start using some choice statements and we can uh, bring in things like so even though um, I you know I used to, and sometimes even change the tense so even though I used to have these work headaches um, I'm, I'm surprised at how relaxed and um, how relaxed and productive I feel at work now or something along those lines um, so that's just a, an idea of how we might use it more generally um, to come back to using it for the things that, that Michael um, mentioned about runes and astrology we can use it um, so we've identified something in our astrology um, that appears to be a weakness or a problem we can um, we can identify it we can um, and, and we can tap on that statement maybe Michael you'd like to give me an example of something that um, you know uh, uh, something that somebody might want to tap on astrologically well yes we'll be doing two separate videos one about a rune and one about an astrological situation so to answer your question but not deal with it in this video 
Well, for example, in astrology, well, in Vedic astrology, because I combine Western astrology with Vedic astrology, in Vedic astrology, like, the moon can be in what's called the Gandanta position, at the transition point from water sign to fire sign. And if the moon is there, it means mother will not be there for you. And it's something that's almost impossible to do anything to alter. It's a karmic knot and the more you try and work at it the tighter the knot pulls mm. or there's a very difficult predictive period you know in Vedic astrology the sade sate the seven and a half years when Saturn trans across, transits across your natal moon and there's Ashtamashani when Saturn goes through the eighth house from the natal moon so we'll be looking at those in the separate video and of course in runes, well the runes start off with Feu, the rune of value. How do you heal that if you've got a problem with value in your life? Uras, the rune of strength. Have you got enough strength? If not, working with EFT can heal it. And of course we don't in our courses on the runes uh, and astrology and uh, don't just use EFT, although that is wonderful in itself. We also use things like artwork and embodiment work. So I wanted to close this general video about EFT. Could you just mention the name of the website where you describe EFT and all the other worldwide healings you do? Okay, well my own particular website is called maggiepashley.com. So that's M-A-G-G-I-E-P-A-S-H-L-E-Y.com. Thank you. Right, thank you, Maggie. So that was a wonderful explanation of EFT and a wonderful demonstration. And it is really so easy to use. It is, it is. Yes. Yeah. And it can be used by an individual or in a group. And sometimes when one looks at it, it can feel like it's somehow too um, simplistic, too flaky. That's certainly my first reaction mm. to it. But I can assure you it's been used for to deal, help people deal with some really tough situations such as um, traumas, war veterans have used it, all sorts of pe people have used it to help them in all sorts of ways. So in the next videos we'll look at how you can use it to help with what shows up in your astrology, what um, maybe comes out of a rune journey. Thank you. Yes, so thank you, and I can certainly personally testify how liberating it is to sort of name the distress or difficulty and work with it using EFT. So thank you very much. Thank you. And I know this method has helped many, many, many people in many different countries. So thank you.